America's heaviest submarine, the Lafayette, goes on a successful trial run before she joins the fleet. The 425-foot ship is believed to be the world's largest nuclear sub. There is no way of checking, but to date there has been no Russian boast of a larger one. The Lafayette is equipped with a Polaris weapon system, a nuclear propulsion plant, and even a three-man gymnasium. At Groton, Connecticut, where she was built, the Lafayette is ready to be commissioned. The sub, which displaces as much water as a cruiser, is manned by two crews of 12 officers and 124 enlisted men each. Both crews go aboard for the commissioning ceremonies. In practice, they will alternate patrols, allowing the ship to be in constant use. As colors and pennant fly, the Lafayette becomes the nation's 28th operational nuclear vessel. On the following day at Portsmouth, New Hampshire, another nuclear sub is launched. Smaller than the Lafayette, the Jack is the sister ship of the ill-fated Thresher. Mrs. Leslie Groves, whose husband headed the first atomic project, christens the Jack. This new submarine is a hunter-killer whose mission is to find and sink enemy shipping. She is the second submarine named Jack. The first was commissioned 20 years ago and served in the Pacific in World War II. The new Jack is one of the deterrents so powerful, the Navy hopes she won't ever have to serve in any war.